Here is a mama. She is a hairless. She's got a litter of nine babies. This is her first litter of babies. I won't mess with her too much. I'm not going to mess with their babies with her on them. So, but, um, they're just born yesterday. Come on, mamas. Come on. I messed with her too many times, so she's probably not going to come off to the babies. She might. Come on. Good girl. As you can see, she's producing milk. She's a hairless, but she's producing milk. She's got nine pinks and doing a very good job of feeding them. Let's see if she'll take it back. There you go, Mama. And she took her in back. I will put this on him like just like this because I have a cat in here. Ow! She won't go anywhere. Not with her babies being there. Sorry. I'm going to just leave it like that. She won't go anywhere. She's my baby. Move, Cinder. Get out of the way. Sorry, I have to move my backpack and crap. Under my bed, my piano's in the way. There's my dog. <laughs> Me so. Here is a litter of ten. Five was their babies. in this fish tank. So, I'll show you them. I have good lighting in my room now. There is... Ooh, that one's going to be hairless. This one right here is going to be hairless. Sorry. She's going to be hairless. She's not even... She's going to have hairless. She's on one of the albinos I got. She's going to be hairless, so she'll turn out to be hairless. Here is my hairless male. There's two males in here. That one right there. The, this is Bartman, not Apache anymore. He is, two, there's two males. Him and him, and then the rest are females. And then here is the girl. Here's Dorothy from the Golden Girls. Um, there is Sophia and Lisa Simpson in here. There is... She might turn out hairless, too. This is Coco. She was supposed to be... A t she turned out to be tan-hooded, but she is half hairless. Because both her parents are double wrecks, and he is semi-hairless. This is one of the girls, the albino girls I got from this pet store. Is not too friendly. They're wild. They won't. They don't bite or anything. But they just will jump out of your hand and poop on you and pee on you. So I had to hold them by their tails. Not hot though. But there is. Oh, here is Coco. That one was Lisa. No. Yeah, this is Coco. She's got the tan hooded. These, there's ten females and two males in this litter. I bought five females from the pet store. The five, there's four albino females and then the, um, where is she? Come on, get out of there. 
There she is. Come on. There she is. She is little friendly. But she's still... Come on. Here is the other black and white. She's a, also hairless. She'll pee on me too. But she's like her. There's ten in here. Twelve actually. Let's get them. This is a 30 gallon fish tank. So they have plenty of room. And don't eat my freaking... Just because it smells like rats doesn't mean you get to eat it. Cinder. I have a fish tank over there for holding them when I'm cleaning them. And since I can't put them in that small little Tupperware container anymore. Um, she had a litter, there was a ten, she had a litter of, that's the mouth. Hey! Knock it off. Sorry. A dog. Um, the females in there, that's the dad. She had ten, five males, five females. But I sold three female, three males yesterday as pets. Um, as pets, so I only have ten females and th two males left. They're gonna be in there. They're gonna be breeding. So, and then this is the two males are in there. Two, f the female male. I'll have more once the f hairless female gets done with her litter, I'll put them two together with the male and um and um breed them again, so um but yeah, there's only two in there. She just got done weaning on the thirteenth, I believe. Um I forgot to write it down on my little clipboard thing over there. So, um, okay, now for the food. I showed you all my rats I have. I feed, I buy stuff from the dollar store, so... This is... A fruit tea nugget thing. It's got... I want my food, but they got tons of food in there. This is noodles. Dried carrot, dried apple, dried pineapple, dried raisins, noodles, well I said noodles, sorry, and sunflower seeds, and dog food. My sick dog is trying to help herself. <laughs> Are you being such a good girl, huh, Mama? Yeah, she wants to help herself. But there's dried bananas in here, and raisins. I and I mix this with their rat food. They want more, but that that'll last them till tomorrow. And that's my pity bowl right there. Um, this right here is their diet. Move your head. I, this is dog food, dried banana, rat food. There's two bags of rat food in here. You can't eat this. No, you're, you'll break out. But there's dog food. Now get back. Dog food, um, dried bananas, noodles, sunflower seeds, um, and then this is a bird food diet. The seeds are from the bird food. I put spit peas, spit peas in this too. So. And then I, when I have barley fodder, when I have barley seeds, I put them in here as well. So, um, yeah. Um, okay. Move your butt, Cinder. Um, this down here is their bedding. I use Kinlan dried aspen, not aspen, but pine, which works marvelous. It's dust free, it's not toxic. Well, I like the fine chips better. So, but they don't seem to be getting problems with their respiratory. This is a little heavy for this on it. it this is their six I this is the 60 pounds of food I feed my dogs. 
Gizmo, I'll let you out in a minute. Um, this is dog food in here for my three pit bulls. So get your nose out of there. Um, yeah. It's um Pure Balance from Walmart. I know, shockingly, I bought that from Walmart. I said I'd never buy dog food from Walmart. But I was feeding Taste of the Wild lamb, and they were getting allergic to the starch. It was pea protein, um, sweet potatoes, and potatoes. My dogs can't handle that kind of dog food, so we switched them to Pure Balance, which doesn't have anything bad for them, and it works for our dogs. And her coat has gotten shinier. My dog's acting up. She wants out of the crate to go potty and play, so I'll have to let her. But Mama is almost five, I think. I got her when I was 19. But I usually fill this cord up to two quarts because it's a two-quart cup thingy. Um. Oh yeah, I just scared the rats. <laughs> but um, it's a two-quart. I would fill it up, but this is all I have left until I get paid again, so. Got this at the dollar store, too. So. But, oh, another thing. Um, another thing, you know as me as a Flemish giant breeder, so. I also breed rats now, so. But the good news is, I finally got what I, my dream come true, actually. I finally am a horse owner. She's a 15 hand quarter horse Air Arabian cross. She is a sweet little girl. She's four years old, not even saddle broken. It's okay, I can saddle break her with a national, with a professional trainer. Not because she's the woman that gave her to me free with six months of free board and hay for working around the stables with her to fix her stuff up so and working with her six horses so but um her name is Penny she is a well I said what she was so she is a cute little mare down the road I might breed her to a Arabian stallion so when I get the chance, when they get the money too. So, I will go down, I'm be probably going down there next weekend, or maybe sooner than that. So, I'll do a video of her. So, and uh, pictures. But that's the update. Oh, and, um, Snow White should deliver my white albino girl, Flemish Giant Pedigreed, should deliver on the 23rd of this month. She was bred to, she wasn't really bred to, so, so I'm not going to say who she was bred to, so that's a secret. <coughs> but she's due the 23rd. I'm going to start breeding tomorrow. The rabbits, it's the cool days, it's going to start raining and thunderstorming, so best day to start. So, yeah, this is a 30 gallon. But that one, it's broke. I got that one for free. I got this one also for free. It's also a 30 gallon tank, but it didn't have the lid, so I had to make a mesh lid. Which they can't get out of it. It's a 30 gallon. And it's a 30 gallon, so I can keep these in here for a long time. They'll probably be left in here until they get retired. Or I'll probably move them to. I'll probably move half the ba females in the male to, I'll put five males, five females to one male in that tank right there with a wheel. So, they don't have a wheel in here right now because I don't have one. I forgot to buy one, so don't hate on me that for that one. I usually put wheels in here, but I don't have a wheel. <laughs> As you can see, Mama's, um... Mama's cleaning the boy. They're in love. <laughs> they love each other, actually. They're inseparable, even though they breed constantly. But I feed her good feed. Just like my girl right there, huh? But they were just changed. Their bedding was just changed, so... Leave the cat alone. 
That's how you broke my other tank, Cinder. You're not gonna break this one. But, um, their tank was just clean today, so... <laughs> their tank was just clean today, about an hour ago, so... Okay, just sit overhead. Sorry, my head dog's head's in the way. But, um, <coughs> yeah. But their cage was just cleaned. I have the disinfectant up there. I'll show you that in a minute. <coughs> Get out of my spot. This is natural cleaner. Sorry, it's not. But, um, natural cleaner, one in four deoxine free for me. It's parsley plus all surface cleaner. So, it is not tested on animals. So, and it smells good naturally. So, I cleaned it with them since my tanks haven't been cleaned for a while. After I just changed the bedding. But, yeah. That's them. But I gotta move this. I'm gonna do this video quickly because my dog needs help. But yeah, see, my female don't go anywhere because she's got the babies. But yeah, that's the update. <sighs> okay, adios. There's Cinder, my five year old pit bull. There's my eight year old cat, Miso. Cinder, sit. 